about the sunblock situation. Sometimes when you get around your sister, you, uh, you lose your mind and you forget that you're obsessed with sunblock and you allow your face to get sunburned. I'm not proud of it. However, when I get around Julie and Ellie, I regret nothing. I repeat, I regret nothing. Hmm, apparently our hair thrives when we're happy too. My hair just needed a little visit from Ellie. Hmm, interesting, hmm. In other news, here's another reason I love this stinking brush. All you have to do is like one little pinch and grab and it takes everything out of your comb. And you know, it aid, it played a role in uh, these bouncy curls too, you know. It's Olivia and I's favorite comb. I'll link it below. And yes, the garbage can still sits on top of the toilet because Lady doesn't stay out of it. Good morning, fancy boy. Have you outgrown all your church clothes? <laughs> Did I order you new church clothes and they were too big? <laughs> so we're stuck wearing the ones that are too small? Yeah, it's on its way. <sighs> Tis life. Did you sleep good? Yeah, did you all sleep on the couch? Where'd you sleep? Oh, I forgot. You got in trouble for fighting with Lincoln, so you slept with Linky. <laughs> How did you sleep? Well, good, but Lincoln kept on waking up. So. Mm. Did he wake you up when he would wake up? What did he say? He was like, I can't go back to bed, and I would just, like, just lay on your pillow and wait, and then he just kept That's, on. that's sound advice. Can I get a cupcake? Yeah, we're gonna have cupcakes for breakfast because when I ordered these cupcakes, I didn't realize that Ellie and Jared's family would be here, and so I didn't have enough, and so I said, you know what, bag it, we don't need it, let's not eat the cupcakes, let's just sing happy birthday and get on our way yesterday. So that's what we did. Can so. Get a cupcake? Yeah, but you gotta wait for Sissy, because it was her birthday, so she gets to choose what cupcake she wants. I don't know where the other two went last oh, night. No, I I don't know where two of them would have gone. Oh, maybe not. It's totally not mom and dad. Excuse me? What? Don't you ever talk to me that way again. Excuse me. That was not me and dad. Or is it Ellie and Jerry? Yeah, I think they did take two when they left. One for each of them. <laughs> You'll have to ask her about it. I don't know. Actually, don't ask her about it. You is handsome. <laughs> you is, how's it go? Um, I forgot. You is handsome. You is smart. You is important. Uh... Kai, if you're watching this, uh, hello. Who's Kai? Uh, my soccer coach. Okay, we'll see if he says hi. <laughs> Does that embarrass you? No. Because you like me kissing you? Mm. No, I like it. No, wait. It doesn't embarrass me. Where's the cord? Um, creepy. Oh uh, yeah, creepy. I just got off the phone with Aunt Julie and we were talking, <laughs> what are you thinking? Um, sometimes you like told Cody about like, like surprises about like if you go to stay with the cousins, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's not it. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Aunt Julie was wondering, since we're gonna be hanging out with her later this week, she wanted to know if you wanted to spend the night with her tonight. If you wanted to go home with her and then I'll pick you up later in the week. Would you wanna do that? Okay. I told her that it was probably about your turn to do something fun like that. Yeah! So after church, I'm going with her. Yep. So you'll drive home with her. Okay. 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 So here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need. Um. Hmm. That's probably a good idea to bring 
What should you? Since they have a pool. <laughs> All right, outfit number one that Boston chose, handsome, handsome, with a coordinating today's task hat, which you can buy. <laughs> Email in the description if you want one. Oh, I love a good monochromatic outfit, bossy, two hats. I mean, if you feel, do you feel like you can keep track of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if I bring two hats, but on, on the next day I'll just wear like one. One of these two. I kind of like the blue one with the orange. And then we've got this is kind of a nicer outfit, which that's the day I will come. So it'll be nice that you have a nice outfit for when I come. Okay, you've got pajamas and a swimsuit have you brushed your teeth today so brush your teeth and then bring your toothbrush up and then i think you're ready and i'll get you a suitcase how do how come you laid your outfits out by day like that because mm -hmm, this day i wanted that up and then the next day i want that and that one mm -hmm. is it because that's how i do it is that how i've showed you how to lay out your outfits and plan for trips <laughs> Since I did your hair, mm -hmm. will you will you safety pin my dress? Yeah, I don't really want to. Hey, you have to. I like it open. Nobody else will. <laughs> okay, kids, I want everyone to come up here. Hurry. Okay, do you have your shoes on? Yes. Okay, do you have an outfit for after church? Yes. Where is it? In the bed of the car. Ooh, and what about shoes for after? In the bed of the car. Okay, go stand by the door. Which car Do you have you an mean? outfit for after church? Yes. And shoes? Yes. Okay, go stand by the front door. Yes. Emma, <laughs> do you have everything that you brought with you? Yes. Your bag? Yes. And did you bring only one pair of shoes? Yeah. And you have them on? Mm -hmm. Okay, get your bag, go stand by the door. Mom, I'm gonna go. Mom, I'm gonna go in the car to the house. Okay, a pair of shorts to put because this is, I can just put this under. And then okay. I'm going to grab a pair of shoes to put in the car. Okay, go do that now. Okay. Oh, two, so you're not done yet. No. It's really difficult. It's and so hard. it's sad when you spend a lot on a dress and it like, you still have to alter it. Is that better? Yeah, I think you Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna flash anybody today. What about me? Maybe Yater. Okay, let's go, everyone. Oh! I almost forgot these for Julie. Okay, hold on. Cut up the rest of the watermelon from yesterday because I left some in the fridge. We're taking this with us and we got up and made another salad. We're gonna take that with us. Excuse me, what is that? What? Salad. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what are you saying? You heard me. <laughs> I was like, did I say something wrong? All right, we're gonna bring this with us. We're gonna watch Mr. Holine do his thing. Mm, look at him tie that tie. Focus, honey, I don't want you to have to redo it. <laughs> don't do that to my makeup and hair. It's fine. You crossed the line. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You just save that for later. Remember how my parents had a like farewell talk before they went on their mission? Well, my mom's sister, I'm sorry, Other sister. my mom's brother and sister-in-law, basically sister, uh, my uncle David and Aunt Merlene, they are going to Sweden. Sweden. Which, we... this is the coolest thing ever. One of their grandsons was called to the exact same mission, so they'll serve together. Is that not incredible? Like, come on. Like, is that not incredible? I want paella. I know, and when my mom was in the MTC, she saw one of um, the other ones, the other nephews. That was, he was going somewhere here. Close. Tacoma, Washington or something? Yeah, anyway, so my uncle, and we're Sweden. There's Swedish. Sweden in your blood, Sweden and Danish. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what my mom is, right? Somewhere in there. Something like that. Okay, seriously though, I feel like we're like a little bit yate. That means late. Julie was like, wait for me. So I was standing in front of the church waiting for Julie and she just took off. She just took off, what the heck? Julie, I need clarification on what just happened. Okay, so clarification. Um, I feel kind of silly that I was like, I think I'm Sweden, I don't know. What did my Uncle David say? Your great-grandfather. So my great-grandfather. Your mom's grandfather was 100% was Sweden. Yeah. So you definitely have Sweden in you. That's kind of cool. 
We made it back home and it has been off and on summer showers all day. And it's funny, we were watching the temperature. Cody had his eye on the temperature and it would go, when it was raining, it was like... 86 or 84. And then when it stopped raining... 99. It was like 99. So. Um, yeah, leave those brushes in there because I forgot to give them to Julie. I'm so sad about it. So leave those in. I'll give them to her later when we switch back our children. Okay, kids, come here. We all need to take handfuls of stuff in so that when we go inside, everything is out of the Suburban. So... Did you trust Julie so she knows? Yeah. Today in church, Boston wore, I don't know if we showed, last time he wore sandals to church. And today he was so upset that he had to wear sandals last time. He squoze his feet into these. We got into the meeting, he was crying. And he goes, mom, I can't do this another week. I need new church clothes. And I was like, I already ordered them. They will be here. And he's like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Olivia, come here. Come help me bring clothes in. So I told him to wear his tennis shoes, but he didn't want to. Yeah. I know. I'm like, Boston, wear your tennis shoes. He's like, I won't. I can't look like a fool. Will you put those Honestly, in the boys' closet? I will try. Thanks, Dolly. Okay. Ah! Cody, I want you to put these all in where they're supposed to go, okay? Hold okay. your arms out. There we go. It's a group effort here. Hold on. Aha, uh -huh. hold on. Lady. 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 Hello, baby. Hello. Hi. All right. Lady. Will you take care of all of those things? Okay. Love you. Thank you. All right, Joel, you're next. Okay. You got um, a suit coat back here. I'll get I'll out. get everything in the cooler. Yeah, bring the salad. I, the salad. I know. We're all homey. Mm -hmm. I want more chicken salad sandwich. I know! They had the best chicken salad sandwiches and now that we're home, we're like, dang, we wish we had more of those. This Me is how I am every single day. I'm like, okay, I need to lay on that for what I want to tomorrow. Super stinking cute. I'm so glad that you had a good birthday. I'm so excited and I'm so excited to make my sneeze. Mm -hmm. I want to do. We've had that stuff for ever. Yeah, because I knew well, shipping time. I was times. with you when we got these shoes. <laughs> well, Olivia helped me pick out what she liked, a couple, and then I like ultimately I'm chose sorry. so I that it was still a little surprise. The first thing I want to do is I want to like um, do change these those two colors. Out. I want to mix them. So oh, I cute! Do, like, one that color, and one this mm -hmm. color. Cause they're super cute. Well, you know that it's time for bed when Mr. Holeen has his running clothes. Laid out. That was in my running underwear. <laughs> You're the pervert. Look at the back of your head. Uh, Look at that haircut. It's nobody terrible. said anything. Well, what are we they going to say? Maybe it's because we were at the Nielsen's and they're like, yeah, it's wild. No, we're good. <laughs> I had a fantastic day. I cried a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. In like a good cry because I love my family so stinking much. And I was missing my mom. Mm -hmm. They referenced my mom in their talk and it was really sweet. They referenced Joel in his talk. Three times. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you really, really quick. No, I won't. It's too long of a story. Okay, <laughs> good night. <laughs> oh, dang it. You hold it out here. He is, what did you say? Mm-hmm. Um, uh. So you're going to film me um, recording or ironing and then just turn and get the girls this version recording, is so okay? Good. So come back here, actually. And then once I get the girls stop. Yeah, get the girls count to like three and then stop. You gotta stop moving, lady. See? Because you weren't focusing. <laughs>